Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I decided I would jump right on in guys and just let you know about a little tiny discovery that I have stumbled upon. And literally guys, yes, it is literally tiny. <laughs> I know you're like, okay, Nacy, what are you up to now? What are you talking about? Well, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I know you're like, okay, wait a minute. What, 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 what do you mean? What, what are you going? What are you getting at? This is your on the go, tiny little coloring book that you take to the doctor's offices with you and, and all that stuff. What's so special about that? Well, yes, as you know, this is the little coloring book that I showed you guys that I travel with with my tiny set of pencils and my tiny set of pipsqueak markers. And I discovered something, guys, that I wanted to share with you. Okay, this is what I discovered. As I was going to the doctor's offices and uh, doing some of these pictures in this tiny travel pocket size coloring book, I noticed something and what I noticed was, hey, I'm sitting here for 30, 40 minutes, sometimes even an hour at the doctor's office and I'm able to get almost a whole picture done of, you know, just coloring just while I'm sitting here waiting. And so as I continued on and continued on, I was like, wait a minute, why am I able to get these pictures done? What, what is the reason? And I figured it out, guys. Smaller pictures equals getting your coloring page done faster. Oh my goodness. I have never, ever been able to finish a coloring page in a day or two. It's always been a week or more. So I said, wait a minute. You mean to tell me the smaller the book or the smaller the image, the faster I can get the coloring done? Yes. <laughs> so guys, that's what I have discovered. If I color smaller images, possibly in my little travel size, pocket size coloring books, I can get more coloring done faster. OK, now, true enough, if something is smaller, you can't get as much detail in it as you'd like, but that's OK. It's sometimes you don't want to do a whole bunch of uh, shading and, you know, layering, blending, highlighting, all that good stuff. But you still can achieve some if you'd like. Or if you want to straight color it, you can. But even with straight coloring. If I was straight coloring a larger image, it would still take me a long time. So guys, yes, this is my new key to coloring for me. All right. Now I have a few little things that I would like to share with you that has really even more enhanced this idea and this discovery. But first, I would like to share with you guys my mini travel size coloring book collection. Yes. So this is one book and this is the book that I keep in my little traveling kit. But if I ever get bored of it and want to change, I have others that I can replace it with or swap it out with. So that's book number one. It's The Art of Coloring, Color Designs to Go, and it's by Leisure Arts. Ooh, that's the same people that make the really nice Leisure Art pencils. And this came from Target, $3, quite a long time ago. But you saw some, you've seen some of the images in here. You know, there's some really cute images. I really like that one. And see, that's not going to take me long. Even with a background, adding a background to that, it's not going to take long at all. So that's coloring book number one. Next, I have this a coloring book, which is actually coloring postcards, 
Color Yourself Zen Postcards, 50 Tranquil Passages to Color and Share. And it's by Lisa Magano and Charlotte Legris. And I really like this book. The lines are perforated. And this is kind of like your, um, what do you call it? Your inspirational sayings. It's kind of like that book, but they're actually postcards that you can color and send to someone. And I think there are actually two different versions of this book. This comes from Dollar General. Well, this one came from Dollar General, as you can see, but it's actually regular price $9.99. I'm sure you can probably get this on uh, Amazon or somewhere like that. I will try to link as many of these books as I can in the description below. Link it to my Amazon affiliate page if you're interested in them. And um, if I don't link all of them, because I have quite a few of them, then you can just use my Amazon affiliate link to just search the book title if you'd like. If you'd like to purchase it through my Amazon affiliate link, which will give me a few pennies not added on to your cost of course but it'll give me a few pennies to uh, put back into the channel all right very nice coloring if you'd like to see full flip throughs of any any of these books just let me know guys and i will do my best to try to get that going for you so again that's color yourself zen postcards by thunder bay press Next, I have Zen Doodle Journaling, uh, Creative Reflections, Color and Write for Mindfulness, Inspiring Quotations, and Mindful Coloring. This one is by St. Martin's Griffin. And this is a Zen Doodle coloring book. And I really like this one. I really would like to get into this one even more because it's actually a journal. And it has, you know, it, it kind of prompts you to write certain things and, and prompts you to write about different things that's going on in your life so that you can kind of put your thoughts on paper and then color the opposite side. How well do you treat yourself? You yourself as much, wait, you yourself as much as anybody in the entire universe deserve your love and affection. Oh, that's so sweet. So nice. Okay. So, yes, guys, very, very nice. Very, very nice coloring pages. Next on the list is Just Add Color on the Go by Lisa. Hongdun. And this is by Rockport. And it has quite a bit of folk art designs in it. And the pages are perforated. <laughs> That's really cute. That kind of reminds me of the Hannah Carlson books, Daydreams, and all that good stuff with the foxes and so forth and this is a pre-colored page these are pre-colored pages and there's the fox pre-colored so again if you'd like a flip through of any of these just let me know next we have color creations by kappa coloring and this was only one dollar and you can get this from i think like family dollar i got this a long time ago but oh my goodness it's tiny and the images are super cute so the pay the paper quality isn't the best yeah, it's kind of like copy paper but hey, I can always print the images off on different paper or scan it, copy it if I so desire. And that's Color Creations. 
Next, I have Pocket Size Coloring, again, by Kappa. And I really like this one. It has all the different types of flowers in it and their names. It has some strawberries. Super cute. Mushrooms. Oh, boy, that's really cute. Got some birds with a bird nest and their cute little eggs. Tiger lily. Okay, and the next one is one that's well known. I call this my pocket size coloring book. And I kind of wish she made more than one pocket size book. This is Nice Little Town. This is the first one, first one that she made by Tanya Bogam Bogamasamos. Wait a minute. Tanya Bogamastalova. Okay. Hope that's right. I don't know. <laughs> but yes, guys, it's it's on Create Space Paper or Amazon Paper. And this is her first book. And there are flip throughs of this all over YouTube, of course. But I look at this as a pocket size. And I know a lot of people didn't like this smaller book, but I actually wish that her other books kind of came in pocket or the larger size. The rest of her books are larger than, than this one. So I really like this tiny little book. It's so cute. Look, it's almost the size of my hand. See? Yes. And the next one I have is Color and Create Projects. And it's not really a coloring book. It's kind of like it has some postcards in it. It has some thank you cards. And it's manufactured by Fabrique Par. Okay. Let's see. Does it have any other information in here where you can purchase this? No, not really. But anyway, there's a thank you card that you can tear out. The pages are perforated and you can fold that in half and make a thank you card. Here's a little card here. You can color that and then you can possibly fold it, turn it into a cute little card. Some of these you can just uh, cut them in half maybe and have like maybe a face plate or something for a actual greeting card you can stick it on the front of it and here are some tags you can color oh that's so cute love it some more little tags and so forth that's very nice and that's just a coloring page that you can possibly frame and they are one-sided Wallpaper page that you can do with some gel pens and that one also super cute. Kind of got a mandala thing. So this one just has all kind of goodies in it. Next, I have one that I don't think this is really a pocket size coloring book, but it's small. You know, there's my hand. There's the coloring book. And... It just has, you know, instead of me having to do pull out my look, the look coloring book, if I feel like coloring clothing or so forth, I can just color these cute little quick little images. If I feel like coloring a face or skin tones, these are just all famous people that you can color them. And I, I've done one in here a long time ago. That's the one I did in here of Rihanna. So, yes, I really like this. It's it's pocket size for me because it's small and the image you can choose to do a background or not. And you can actually also copy these onto another paper or however you want to do it. So I love that. That's Color Me Girl Crush by Mel Elliott. Next one I have is uh, more postcard books. This is Tropical. And these are by Hamlin. And they're just postcards that you can color. And with postcards, I actually had the idea of I can actually use them in my card making. I can use them as a, what do you call it? Mat. 
that's what you call it, the front part of your card when you fold it and you want a front on it, that's what you call the mat when you stick that piece of extra paper on top of a, of a card that you've made. So I can actually color this and use this as a card and then just embellish it however I want and you know give it to someone or you can use it as a postcard. Next postcard is Art Nouveau and this is by Pepin. And here we have some interesting little designs. And it's already coming apart, but that's okay because that's how it's supposed to be glued. The glue doesn't supposed to hold a whole lot so you can be able to rip the pages out. But that's okay, I'll keep it together like this. Another postcard book is Art Deco Fashion, again by Pepin. And you see I got these from Hobby Lobby. And these are just a lot of fashions. You know, I love my fashion, guys. So yes, I can color this very quickly. She isn't she even has her little background on hers. Line art is very thin. I hope you can see that. Can you even see it? Okay. Next postcard book is by Millie Murata, Animal Kingdom, 30 postcards. And of course, this is all of Millie Murata's goodies. So just let me know again, guys, if you would like full flip throughs. I would try to get that done for you. Okay, let's see. Next, we have the iconic Paris coloring book. And it's illustrated by Emily Isabella. And it says there are 24 detachable pages of iconic sites featuring all these nice little places in Paris. And looks like this can be used as a postcard also, if you so desire. And I think I purchased this one from Book Outlet. It was really inexpensive. I wanted the other one too, Iconic New York, but I just never got around to getting it. And I think it was a little bit more expensive than this one. And I was like, no, I am not paying $5 for that when I paid $3 for this one. <laughs> so yes, guys, that's the bargainista in me. Next, I have this cute little coloring journal by Crown Jewels. And this is another one that came from the dollar store, Family Dollar. So it doesn't have the little prompts on it, but it does have the coloring pages on one side and the lines for you to take notes or journal on the opposite side. And the only thing about that is you can't use markers or pretty much gel pens either because it's kind of double sided. If you, unless you don't want to write on this side, you can use whatever medium you like, except for water media because the paper is kind of like copy paper. So if you decide that you do want to utilize this opposite side, you would have to use pencil or ballpoint pen because I think gel pen will possibly bleed also because the paper is so thin. Next one, we have I Love Coloring Flowers and this one is double sided also. It has the name of your flower on that side. Oh, yes, that's nice. So this is double-sided. That's a cute little image, something that you can color quickly. Have your little peacock there. Some daffodils. Oh, this is nice. Kind of have 
realistic on this side and like doodly on that side. I really like this. I have not even opened this to even really look at the pages. Oh my goodness. I kind of like this. Oh, can't wait. I love coloring flowers by Price Stern Sloan. Yes. That's who that one's by. Next, I have Mandalas for Relaxation to Color, Stress-Free Coloring by Benden. And this is a pocket size one also. And these are all mandalas. I call them mandalas, but I don't think that's how you pronounce it. I think it's mandala. Well, at least that's what Google says. is. But of course, you can say it however you'd like, because I will say both of it. I'll say mandala. I'll say mandala. I'll say mandala. <laughs> I'm just making up stuff now. Okay. So that's that one. And then next we have animals to color for relaxation. So we have our animals in here. Ooh, bears with strawberries. That's interesting. Oh, really? I would have to turn to this page with an icky, yucky, yucky spider. No. Oh, and then turn straight to a snake page. I'm not really scared of snakes as much as I am spiders, but now I'm not scared of spiders as much as I used to be because I was like, okay, we have to get over this fear because this is not right. I would see a teeny tiny spider, just, I mean, one of those little baby spiders and I would just cut a fit and I'm like, this is really unnecessary, Nisi. You need to stop that. So I had to get a little help with that. So now I'm, I'm, I'm a lot better. This one has a lot of Zentangly items. There's a Zentangle Great Dane, looks like. Boy, you would not be able to get in those little crevices on that one. You would probably just have to color this hole. You know, not trying to color every little loop and cranny. That's what I would have to do. Just blend and shade and just color the whole little section because that's very tiny. Probably can do that with some fine liners, but I don't know about all that. Next, I have Wild Pocket Book of Coloring. This one is by, I think, Pat Leisure. No, Paragon. And this is pretty nice. Got a lot of huge faces of animals with that Zentangly thing. I'm not really a fan of that Zentangle type of illustrations, but hey, I may, I may try to work with it. Well, I'm not, I, I, I am going to try to work with it. That's a really nice one. I like that one of the, what are those, cockatoos, parrots? I don't know. But they're going to be colorful, whatever they are. I like that frog. I like the way this is entangly, and then this one is this part is not. So you can pretty much do so much with that. What is this? Is this a squid or an octopus with one eye? Or jellyfish? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Comment below if you know what this is. A, a moose? <laughs> I don't know. That is just odd. So that's the wild coloring book. And last but not least in the coloring book section is Botanic Pocket Coloring Book by Paragon also. It has lots of botanicals. Lots of your flowers. Your flores. Yes, guys, that's what that's what happens when my brain wants to speak Spanish. I can't. My English words don't come out right. So I was, but flatos, flatos. What is a flato? No, a flora, uh, a flor. <laughs> can't even get my Spanish right. Un flor. Okay, there's a bunch of leaves. And some cute little, what are those, daisies or sunflowers or something? Maybe, maybe not. 
So the next thing I wanted to share with you guys is something that I discovered that I was like, after I was like, okay, I really want to use my coloring. I, I want to color something other than what's in those books. So this is what I discovered. The art of using Microsoft <laughs> Word on your computer to edit PDFs. All right, guys. Yes, I know a lot of you have um, PDF copies of your books and so forth. And back when Jade Summer was oh so kind and giving us a PDF and the physical book, I hate that that stopped, but I understand the struggle. The struggle is real. Back when they were giving you both, you were able to have the PDF and the physical copy. So this is what I did, guys. I used Microsoft Word to place multiple copies or not multiple copies, multiple images on one page. I shrunk the images and I put them on one page so that they can be smaller images. So that's how they look as a whole page. This is, um, uh, and I can put it on cardstock. I can put it on regular paper. I can just put it on whatever paper I want, but I can make those images tiny. See? So this one is Cute Stuffed Animals, and this one is from Anime Coloring Book by Jade Summer. And I have one here that's from Country Scenes Coloring Book by Jade Summer. Now, what I had to do with this one. All right. So the way that I did these is I used a program or a, a internet site called zamzar.com. And I will put that website below in the description. I'm not, this is not a sponsored video by them or anything. I'm just sharing with you uh, how I achieved this and what I did. So I use that site zamzar.com to make these PDFs to change the file name to a, a JPEG or JPG image because you cannot edit a PDF file in Microsoft Word to be able to shrink it. It has to be a picture type of file. So that's the harder way because Zamzar doesn't allow you to do over 50 gigabytes. And I know I'm probably talking Greek to some of you guys right now. It doesn't let you uh, convert over 50 gigabytes. So it kind of limited me per day. So I was like, okay, I need to figure out another way to do this. So what I did was with this image, I said, okay, maybe I can look at the PDF and maybe I can just copy the image and then send it over to Microsoft Word without having it to be um, a JPEG or, or bitmap image. So I did that. But the line art was super, super light. And I was like, I don't like that. I mean, I, I could have worked with that. That might have been a little nice, but it was just a little bit too light. You know, I love my heavy line art. So I actually had to edit the um, contrast to make the lines darken up. And I know I'm probably talking geek Greek to you guys. <laughs> I am a computer geek. I love technology. I am a tech girl. So if I'm confusing you guys, maybe I can break it down a little bit further and kind of take you step by step some kind of way uh, by maybe connecting my camera to my computer and, and showing you that way. I don't know if enough of you make a request for me to actually do that. You know, I will do my best to try to get that done for you. But yes, I had to change the contrast to make the line art heavier. We could have went with that that lighter line art, but I was like, no, not today. So yes, that's what I did with those. And I just wanted to show you like just a comparison of, you know, what the problem is with me and a, a full size image. 
So this is the full size image that I printed off eons ago. And this is the little tiny image. When I look at this image, I get overwhelmed. I, I'm just like, there is no way, you know, I just, there's no way that I just desire to color that because it's just too much for me. Now, I'm not saying at all that I will never color a full size image ever again. No, I am far from saying that. I'm just saying on those days where you're like, I want a quick color. Usually if I want to color something quickly within a day or two, I can't even start on this because I know it's going to take me forever. Even if I use watercolor pencils or markers, it's just so much to, to color. And I'm sitting there thinking about, you know, color pattern, not color pattern, color uh, swatch, not color swatches, color palettes. That is what I wanted to say. Color palettes and what I want to color this and what I want to do to that. But I find if it's a smaller image, I can just straight, just, just color it, go at it. Don't have to do a lot of thinking. So, yes, guys, that is the thing. And what I've done is I've used this little uh, pencil case to store all of the pictures that I have already uh, printed out and cut down to size. And these images are from Jade Summer's Delicious Foods. So I have that. I have this one from uh, Country Charm, not Country Charm, is it Country Charm or Country Scenes? And I have the larger version of this, but this tiny little one is so super cute. I can't wait to share with you guys my finished pictures of these tiny pictures because I know I'm going to be able to color them fast. I know I'm going to be able to get them done. So I said, let me test out this theory. Let me let me just test it out. Oh, my goodness, guys. Yes. So I will be sharing this with you guys on in my finished pages. At the end of the month because it's a finished page <laughs> so i said let me see if i'm able to finish something quick yes i was able to do this in pretty much one day in less than an hour i can't believe it and i'll tell you guys at the end of the month everything that i used and you know all that good stuff where it's from and all that that nice stuff there so yes guys this is my new, my new passion, my new go-to, my new, ah. <laughs> so what do you think, guys? What do you think? Do you think I'm going to be successful? I think I am. I think you're going to be able to start seeing a whole lot more finished pages from Nisi by me using this method. And let me know in the comments below if this is something that you would be interested in. Is this a good idea for you? Would this help you to get more coloring done by using a smaller image or using travel coloring books? Because this is just, oh my goodness, this is, I think this is going to be a way that I'm going to get a lot of more coloring done. Now, I'm not throwing away or putting to the side all my full size books. As a matter of fact, if there is an image in a full size book that I just absolutely love and that I really, really, really want to color, I'm just going to scan that image with my printer. And, you know, put it, make it smaller, scale it down to size using my computer so that I can have a smaller image of it and that I'll be more apt to color it. So, guys, there you have it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as I said, these are a lot of coloring books, so I know I'm probably not going to be able to put every last one of them 
in the description below with a link, but you can always go to that uh, Amazon affiliate link if you'd like to purchase it through my link to help the channel out. And I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with me and listening to me tell you all about my discoveries and ramblies and hear me pronounce Tanya Boganova Skalova Sonova. <laughs> pronounce her name crazy and wrong. <laughs> So thank you, thank you, thank you again for tuning in. Please give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy adult coloring. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed so I can know that you enjoy my videos and that I should keep on keeping on. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much again. And as always... Happy coloring. Bye.